My journey to Iceland was long anticipated. Unlike its name, the land was hot. The bread of the people is baked in the ground heated by magma. A volcano that spit out lava 4,000 years ago became an entrance into another world exposing another layer of the Earth's skin. Today, I make my way to find Iceland's glaciers that have existed over thousands of years and the art the glaciers created. Located close to the North Pole, 12% of Iceland is covered in glaciers. It is literally the land of ice. Vatnajökull, located on the northern part of the island, is the largest glacier on Iceland. It is larger than all of the glaciers in Europe put together. Today's journey takes me through the glacial lake of Jökulsárlón to Skaftafell National Park. While traveling through Iceland, it is easy to notice that the nature in the northern part is very different from the south. Apart from the northern volcano region, where steam rises from the black ground, a white glacier spreads out through the southern region. Ah, I'm driving with beautiful scenery on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> A glacial lake, Jökulsárlón, is located near the sea. The strength of the wind is massive. The wind blows as if trying to block my path. I experience being blown by serious wind in Iceland. This is a famous place where the 007 and Batman series were filmed. Actually, what made this place famous are the hundreds of icebergs floating in the lake. They broke off from that giant iceberg over there. It happened naturally, but it looks like a work of art. <laughs> The small pieces of the icebergs that have broken off float on the lake. Seeing it as a piece of art created by nature over thousands of years, gives me the perception that it's more than just a piece of ice. How will it taste? It's just very cold. But when will I ever get another chance to taste a glacier, if not here?
보기만 하고 가긴 너무 아쉽잖아요. 그래서 여기 관광객들을 위해서 수륙 양용차로 어, 호수를 이렇게 싹 이렇게 돌아보는 코스가 있어요. 저도 이배를 타고 한번 안으로 들어가 볼게요. Amphibious boats are famous at this lake. 뭘 하든 간에 안전제일 같아요. About 80 years ago, this place was actually covered in ice. The lake was formed when the Vatna Yokel Glacier began to melt. Inside the lake, there are countless icebergs that broke off and float in the lake. Their sizes, shapes, and even colors are all different. The closer we get to the center of the lake, the size of the icebergs gets bigger. There is more than what meets the eye. This is exotic scenery you can't find easily anywhere else. As I am appreciating the unique pieces of ice, I see rubber boats moving busily in between the floating ice. The boat approaches our boat and gets closer and closer. I'm wondering about what is happening. And a man gives the ice to our guide. What kind of ice is it that the guide takes it like it's her most prized possession? Okay, hi everybody. We have the glacier right there behind us. You see it, this white part? And all the ice that is here in the lagoon floating around comes also from the glacier. One thousand, yeah! He doesn't count, he's been here before, so <laughs> he knows everything. <laughs> but yes, it's one thousand years old, yeah? Actually, forty percent of the water... A thousand years have collected in this ice. After the explanation, the ice is cut into small pieces and passed out to the tourists. What does 1,000 years taste like? Yoko Sarlon is a lake created by a glacier. It is a place that embraces an immeasurable depth, time, and ancient beauty.
The icebergs floating in the lake make their way toward the ocean. Iceberg pieces swept by the waves are scattered around the waterfront. I walk along the shoreline mesmerized by the fantastic view. The cool water wets my feet. It seems humans are instinctively attracted to beauty. The unsetting sun dyes the majestic sky with its glow. The pieces of glacier fight against the waves and quietly continue their voyage. The chilling scenery makes even my heart ache. I'm going to try to walk on a glacier this time. Skaftafell National Park, located on the north side of the Vatnajökull Glacier, is famous for glacier trekking. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you can take a seat here. I'm gonna fit you crampons. Yes, yes. Okay. Clamponel <sighs> chaco. Putting on safety equipment that will prevent slipping prior to walking on glaciers right. is a must. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We go together to Galicia, huh? Yeah, uh, we are going together. I'm from Korea. Uh huh. No. Uh, me uh, from Barcelona. Uh, Spain. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And I'm from I'm from Mexico. Mexico. Uh, ah. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. 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 <laughs> Mexico. I mean, do you have any experience with uh, walking in Galicia? It will be the first time. First time. First time. Uh, That's all. Iceland embraces ice, beginning with its name. I wonder what glaciers look like here. My heart begins to flutter as soon as I see glaciers in the distance. That glacier is the one I'm going to be climbing today. Doesn't it seem mystical covered in fog like that? At last, we begin glacier trekking, following our professional guide. I can see the glacier on the side of the trekking course. 
I can't help but express my exclamation. Perhaps this is an example of pure white beauty. Nevertheless, glaciers are not as romantic as they look. There are dangerous gaps throughout glaciers, so it's important to have a professional guide when trekking on glaciers. After climbing for a while, the scenery stretched out before my eyes forces me to stop in my tracks. The glacier wasn't blue as I expected, but the grey-coloured glacier captures me with its own charm. The glacier is quite dark, it's quite dirty. Do you know why? Eyjafjallajökull. Well, volcanoes, yes, but Eyjafjallajökull is a little bit further in the west, so it's actually not after that, but it's, it's just ash. It's because of the huge volcano eruption that occurred in 2010. The amount of ash has increased drastically since then. This is the glacier cone, yeah. But someone called me, they said it's black cone. Yeah, like uh, there have, there some people call it a dust cone or a glacier cone. Black cone is probably just one word. This was just a crevasse. Here on top we had a crevasse with a mud. And then the ice around it st like started melting, so the mud just went down and insulated. Quite a few black cones created by the ash stand out. There is a view you must not miss out on seeing on a glacier. It is the gap in the glacier called a crevasse. Wow, very blue in there. Ah. It's quite blue. You have to be very careful not falling down here. You got to go right in the middle. We have some ice underneath, but we have many layers. She throws the rock into the gap. Throw it just here. Oh, well done. Well done. I like it. It's really awesome. <laughs> and it's um, big and it's really, really cold. <laughs> what do you like the most? Did you like I throwing like, stones? No, I like how it's really pretty because the black makes like lines like marble and then like the white is like really, really now it's my turn. But my rock is too big, so it got stuck in the gap. Maybe I was too greedy. Because we have a lot of water on the glacier, and we have water on the surface, and inside and under it, it's everywhere. These gaps may seem small, but some of them are very deep. We take a moment to look deeper into the glacier. There's no need to bring water when you're glacier trekking. But it's very clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's cold. It's cold. Now it's time to go back. Will I ever set foot on this glacier again? Glacier 
빙하가 저기까지 갔었대요. 20년 동안 이 빙하가 이만큼 녹아서 내려온 거래요. 상상이 좀 힘들죠? 이 두꺼운 얼음이 20년 만에 이렇게 녹아버렸다는 게. I don't know how different the glacier will look in a few years. After seeing the enormous glacier of Vatnajökull, I set off to see Detefoss, a waterfall created by a melting glacier. The melted water from the glacier in northern Iceland flows down toward the northeast, creating a river. This river flows through a ravine, creating yet another magnificent sight. 여기 보이는 전체가 국립공원이에요. 이 공원 안에 여러 개의 폭포가 있고 계곡들이 있는데 그 중에서 가장 유명한 곳이 지금 제가 가는 데티포스라는 곳이에요. 아이슬란드 말로 포스가 폭포란 뜻이에요. 그래서 무슨 셀포스, 데티포스, 굴포스 하는 게다 폭포를 얘기하는 거더라고요. Can you see the spray of water over there? I hurry my footsteps with anticipation of wanting to see it more quickly. As soon as I face Detifoss, I'm forced to let out my exclamation. The scale of the waterfall is bigger up close. With a height of 45 meters and a width up to 100 meters, the volume of the flow of Detefloss is especially great. Thus, it is known as the strongest waterfall in Europe. I can feel its power as I stand before it. Detefoss displays nature's splendor just as it is. True to its reputation, many travelers visit this waterfall. It's very impressive because it's so big. And it's very interesting when you come over the ridge, you first you only see the like the foam that is coming up. And then slowly, gradually see you see more and more of the uh, waterfall. And that is very impressive, and you already also hear it from a distance. The glacier that has been frozen for 1,000 years is now moving in full vitality. It's a touching moment. I'm thankful just being able to be here. I'm told there is a mystical place not far from Detefoss. I'm making my way there now. The guide who led us on our way suddenly picks something and hands it to me. Blueberry. <laughs> a 
vegetable. You can eat them. Huh? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> They're real wild blueberries. <laughs> this area is a volcanic region that had a large eruption in the past. Traces can be found on the ground. Is there really an ice cave at a place like this? Not long after, we arrive at the entrance of the cave. This cave formed as lava flowed into the ground. The magma hardened in the same shape it flowed, so you have to be careful when walking through it. I can feel cold air inside the cave. It feels like I'm entering a new world. It's not all fun and games starting from the entrance. We crawl inside for a long time. This time we have to climb up using a rope. <laughs> the people ahead of me shine a light for me. It feels like a military training exercise. There we go. Okay. Once we're through, the ground changes from water to ice. Now it's a world of ice. The ceiling of the cave where the lava flowed in the past is decorated with clear ice jewels. It's really amazing. Like stalactites and stalagmites in a limestone cave, the water on the ceiling froze, and that water melted and dripped to the ground as it froze again. Others, for example, this one here, changes very little from year to year. So it builds up maybe four or five millimeters. It still baffles me how they are made. They're such great pieces of art. It feels like a fairy from an old fairy tale might live here.
무슨 얼음 성 같죠? 신기하다. 누구가 밤에 사람들이 없을 때 누군가 가서 막 만들어 놓고 사라진 것 같아요. 그리고 다음날 사람들이 왔다 가면 또 와서 또막 만들어 놓고 가고. All the ice in here has its own name. For the elf family. Yeah. These grow, they're one of the slowest growing ice in the cave. Most of them, yes. That's the castle, and the tower, and the elves, and the dwarves. <laughs> 얼음 얼음 동굴 안에서 얼음이 내는 소리를 들을 줄 몰랐어요. Everyone is having fun like children. How do you feel? It feels really interesting. Different from everything else. <laughs> this ice cave is 180 meters deep from the entrance. In the fifth floor, we can go down into fourth floor that also goes further, further in, a lot, another two. It means smile. The travelers take their last photos in the cave. Thank you. For me, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I didn't know that it, I mean, I knew that they had this cave, but I didn't know it was this big. <laughs> in Iceland, there is a glacier that embraces a volcano and a volcano that embraces ice. I make another memory in this dramatic land. Right. <laughs> <laughs>